Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 131, NASDAQ off 48, S&P's down 13 and a half, gold. Gold contract up $26.20, straight at 1933 an ounce. We had silver up 39 cents, 24 dollars, four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck. $80.44. That's been a round trip out here today in a monster way, folks. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note trading down 10, 10 six at 115.19. The 30 year down 12 at 131.22. And the 10 year right now, folks, is yielding the 3.39. We hit 3.33 yesterday. And King Dollar. King Dollar just can't hold price down 324 ticks. Trading at 102.039. The Euro's at 108. The Yen's at 128. And the British pound is trading at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, I'm gonna go right to the futures, because if you heard the update, the bottom line is that the futures only had to get a few points lower. Let me see if it did it. To get back inside this range, and it's, that could be a real problem. No, it's not there yet. Well, let me see. Okay, so the number that we're looking for is right there. What is that? Yeah, 30, 39, 33. Yeah, we're below it there. This is a problem. Okay, a little problem child here happening. So this is, what, this, is what, this is why the problem child's there, folks, okay? What you had out here this morning is that on the opening bottom line, you know, and this is it, listen, man, I use the opening, I, I use, it. when it's live, it's live. I don't care if it's the open or the close, okay? The 10 minutes, the 10 minute. So you had 79,000 contracts. Then the next 10 minute bar was to a higher high was 61,000. Well, what happened is this. The first lunge up, you had 40,000. That, that lunge up was at 140 this afternoon. Then you went to a higher high with 27. So the correlation, this is what's so cool about timing the trade. It's all about supply and demand, and it shows you the weakness or the strength inside the marketplace. And so when you, in this particular case, you're looking at, okay, the last high had 27,000. The prior high to that had 46,000. The next high had 61,000 and the one before that 79, okay? So now this, that's the bad news, right? Meaning if you want the market to go higher. The good news here is at the bottom here, we don't have a high volume low. You know, we did do, you can see this, that uh, we went out to 3901.75. Well, the ABC down we were talking about yesterday, intraday, it was 3905, okay? So it, it hit your ABC down. Now, my speculation is this. You know, when we finish an ABC structure down or up, it normally does something else. I, my take is, if we end up, this is, this is how this goes, right? So let's picture if we look at this, if we end up at, I, I'm taking this, this is a little bar here. And if we end up at 39.23, somewhere around this, so that's another seven point. Let's put it this way, it's easier telling you. If we're down approximately 22, any, 22 points and over in the S&P, this is building cause for much lower price. That's how that works. Because you finish the ABC structure, it always bounces around or something. But if it wants to do another ABC down, what you're gonna see is that there's no strength to, to stay up. They snake it lower on the close, and we'll, we'll be able to see that pretty quickly, you know, because we, we just had the failure. So if I bring the NQs up, we take a the, look at the NQs. Same situation. So in the NQs, same thing. In the NQs, we don't have a high volume low either. Okay, so in the NQs, we do the exercise again. Watch. The first way up, we had 33,000. Then we made a high with 26,000. Then we made a higher high with, Jesus, what, 8,900. Yeah, that's a joke, okay? Now, on the way down again, it's the same deal, though. There's not high volume. There's not a lot of conviction when you're getting lower to sell this thing. That's the bottom line. So 
inside the NQs, you know, that being said, if the NQs close out at, uh, what is that, 383. If we close out like down, that's another 50. If we close down over 100, it's going to be this, it's telling you the same thing. That guess what? We are going south. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract out here because the gold contract is hitting highs. And, you know, if you heard the update, there's a lost engulfing again. We've had plenty of them. You know, that being said, bottom line is that, you know, you're breaking high here. Now you get 193,000 contracts, and that's good contract volume. There's no doubt about that. And we've had higher, but 193,000 is good contract volume. So now the kick is going to be, you know, a last engulf means you close, you start at the low, you go to the high after an uptrend. But you can see we've, we've had them, okay? And it, they end up being one day wonders in this particular case. Now, the, case, the thing to keep, yeah, so, and that's, we're going to go over to the dollar because it's all about the dollar. It, it's amazing that, that we have divergences out here in spades now, folks, there's no doubt. So the dollar has been moving, you know, sideways. That's the reality. The dollar tried to get off the lows yesterday. Got down to 101, closed at 102, uh, you know, well, 101, 500 it went to, closed at 102, 560, went as high as 102, 800. But the dollar, if it was going to do anything, has to get back inside 103, 500. Okay, so we're a long way from getting back inside the higher range. That's the bottom line. Um, we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. And let me here. Let me. I want to see this indice for a second. We don't have volume inside the uh, ETF structures. Yeah, I, I don't think we have. It doesn't look to me like you're going to get big volume inside the indices either. Yeah, you're not. You're not. So, this is going to be all about today, folks. This is going to be about can the market hold price, meaning that can it close kind of where it is right now, you know, or a little bit higher? Because if it does. Then you're going to get a bounce tomorrow, and then we're going to see, in that particular case, what kind of energy you have going forward. And it's going to be hard to basically get hard energy going forward on a Friday. But, you know, we'll take it day by day, baby. Dow, Dow's off 130, Nasdaq's off 49, S&P's off 13. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.